Welcome guys. Today we are going to see the projection of points basics. Let's see the basics of projection. So here all of us have this experience uh, like this sweet fellow Pradyu. He is following his own shadow. Yeah, uh, shadow is one of the projection only. In the up in the upcoming units we are going to land the projection of points, lines, solid planes solids uh, etc this is an example of few projections demo from my students task uh, they projected the object in vertical plane okay uh, that is vp and uh, this is an example of solid projections uh, they are projecting cylindrical objects and then cone uh, this is prism and uh, this one is a pyramid yeah the top view is projected in the uh, horizontal plane. Okay. Assume uh, we are using a beam of light which is parallel to the object while projecting. Let's see one demo with four quadrants for points. It is the vertical plane and then horizontal plane. Okay. This one is horizontal plane and then this one is your vertical plane. We are having four quadrants that is 0 to 90 degree is your first quadrant, 90 to 180 degree is your quadrant number 2 and then 180 to 270 degree is your quadrant number 3, 270 to 360 degree is your quadrant number 4. Actually it is a transparent plane. In front of the quadrant 1, we are having our observer. Okay, see, this is our observer. Always the position of the observer is a fixed one. Okay, we are only going to change the position of the object in various quadrants. Let's check the various quadrant conditions. Assume it is a point. Okay, I am taking a ball as a point. Right. Now, the ball is above the horizontal plane, okay, this is our horizontal plane, the ball is above the horizontal plane and in front of the vertical plane, okay, and in front of the vertical plane, okay, this is our quadrant one condition. Similarly, the ball is on the horizontal plane, in front of the vertical plane, that is also quadrant one condition, similarly, the ball is on the vertical plane and above the horizontal plane okay that is also quadrant 1 condition right now let's check the quadrant 2 conditions see right now tell where is the ball yeah the ball is behind the vertical plane and above the horizontal plane that's it right let's check some other conditions also see now the ball is on the horizontal plane and behind the vertical plane okay behind the vertical plane and on the horizontal plane yeah one more condition is also there see now you have to tell where is the ball where is the ball the ball is above the horizontal plane yeah that's fine whether the ball is in vertical plane or on vertical plane with respect to the observer okay with respect to the observer you have to tell okay right this is on the vertical plane but now the ball is in the vertical plane okay see the ball is on my hand see now the ball is on my top of my hand okay on now the ball is in okay inside okay the ball is now in my hand right the same thing same thing now the ball is on the vertical plane okay the ball is on the vertical plane with respect to the observer here the ball is inside okay right so this is the on and in difference let's move to the third quadrant I hope you may know the difference between on and in conditions. 
okay right let's check the third quadrant various conditions right so this is our third quadrant okay here you are having horizontal plane and then this is your vertical plane right now tell me the condition the ball is the ball is below the horizontal plane okay the ball is below the horizontal plane and behind the vertical plane okay here we are having our observer okay the ball is behind the vertical plane with respect to the observer right and then some other conditions yeah the ball is behind the vertical plane and in the horizontal plane okay in okay this is in in third quadrant if the ball touches hp means that is known as in condition right similarly the ball is below the horizontal plane okay and in the vertical plane okay in right and let's check the last quadrant the ball is below the horizontal plane and in front of the vertical plane that's it okay below the horizontal plane and in front of the vertical plane okay that is fourth quadrant condition some more conditions is also the yes in and the on conditions yeah let's check it see the ball is on the vertical plane okay on the vertical plane with respect to the observer the ball is on the vertical plane and below okay below the horizontal plane yeah similarly the ball is in the horizontal plane in in the horizontal plane and in front of vertical plane okay in front of vertical plane yeah that's it these are the various conditions now now let's check the projection of points with respect to all the quadrants okay yeah now let's do some example problems first take the quadrant one condition right the point is okay the point a is 20 mm above horizontal plane and 20 mm in front of vertical plane right so the ball is over here the point a in the space the object is named as capital letter a right so please make a note of it uh, most of the questions they will give the name in capital letter only right if the ball is projected in vertical plane projection is nothing but shadow if it is projected in the vertical plane means whatever the point projected in the vertical plane either here or the if it is projected in the vertical plane means we have to give name in uh, small letter plus dash okay if it is a capital letter a means after it projected in the vertical plane we have to name it as a dash right if it is a capital letter b means after it is projected in the vertical plane we have to name it as small letter b dash okay dash right same thing if it is projected in the horizontal plane okay if it is projected in the horizontal plane means uh, we have to give a name as small letter a right if it is a ball b means after projection we have to name it as small letter b right to remember this naming uh, i want to share one thing uh, my favorite eg teacher mr raskin bruce uh, shared one thing see yeah uh assume it is a spikes assume it is a spikes okay uh in the front view only in the front view only you can able to see my spikes okay in the front view only you can able to see my spikes that is a dash b dash c dash okay but in the top view uh, one minute in the top view uh, you can't able to see my spikes okay all right in the top view in the top view we can't able to see the spikes so in the top view uh, you have to give a naming as small letter a small letter b small letter c alone right but in the front view whatever the points projected in the vertical plane will have a dash right a dash b dash c dash right so please uh, remember these things uh, we are going to use this naming in the all the remaining four units right now let's check the projection okay one minute yeah see here the above distance is 20 mm that 20 distance is projected in the vertical plane okay right projected similarly the top view that is 
whatever the infinite of distance from the vertical plane 20 mm okay right so here it is projected as a dash in vertical plane and then in horizontal plane it is projected as a yeah one minute listen ma after we getting a projection in uh, vp as well as hp what we are going to do is we are going to create a 2d environment right see it is a plane it is a 3d plane but uh, it is very difficult to draw the answer or to convey these things to the other end right so what we are going to do is we are going to create a 2d with this 3d environment how very simple we are going to rotate the horizontal plane okay see this is your horizontal plane we are going to rotate the horizontal plane 90 degree clockwise okay uh, while i am rotating listen i am going to rotate the hp 90 degree 90 degree 90 degree 90 degree 90 degree that's it right so while i am rotating one end of the hp another end of the hp is also moves towards the top okay if you are rotating clockwise at this end means that end is also going to rotate in clockwise right uh, we will discuss those things in the quadrant 2 condition right okay after i rotated those thing see yeah in a 2d paper in a 2d paper we got the answers right see here the interference between the x and y is nothing but our reference line uh, you have to name it as x y okay capital letter x capital letter y okay so this is nothing but our reference line and then you are having your a dash in the vertical plane after we rotated the horizontal plane now this horizontal plane is below the x y line right above the x y line we are having vp and the point is a dash below the x y line we are having our hp and the projected point is small letter a actually here you have to draw the projector line okay here you have to draw the projector line with the help of a 2h pencil uh, we will discuss those things in the uh, animated one right now let's check the quadrant 2 condition right that is the point capital letter a the point a is 50 mm behind the vertical plane and 10 mm above the horizontal plane right so that is quadrant number 2 here we are having our object in between the object and then observe we are having the vertical plane whatever the detail with respect to the hp 10 mm above or 20 mm above 10 mm below or 25 mm below will be projected only in the vertical plane i will tell the trick at the last okay right so this 10 mm is projected in vertical plane as a a dash right and then the 50 mm behind the vertical plane is projected in the hp okay Uh, whatever the detail with respect to the vp will be projected only in the hp only as a small letter okay uh, this is point a so that is uh, projected as small letter a right see this is the projection line right now what we are going to do is we are going to get a 2d with the help of the 3d environment how yeah the same thing we are only going to rotate the uh, horizontal plane 90 degree clockwise okay see if i rotated this plane 90 degree clockwise means okay 90 degree clockwise means what is happening see above the xy line i am getting the uh, vp projection as well as hp projections okay so that's why in quadrant 2 case the projections will be overlapped with our vertical plane okay because the vertical planes remains vertical always right so this will be the final answer in the quadrant 2 case okay uh, let's check the remaining conditions in animated view now we are going to check the quadrant 3 case see here that is the point a is behind the vertical plane and below the horizontal plane quadrant 3 case also uh in between the object and observer we are having the 
vertical plane right see the projections the 10 mm below hp will be projected in vp okay whatever the detail with respect to the hp will be projected in vp similarly uh, whatever the detail with respect to the vp that is uh, 50 mm uh, behind the vertical plane will be projected in hp right i am getting the projections over here and then here uh, this is small letter a and then this one is small letter a dash right vp hp after getting a projection to get a 2d what is the next step we have to rotate the horizontal plane 90 degree clockwise see listen listen what is going to happen listen if i am going to rotate this if i am going to rotate this horizontal plane 90 degree clockwise means see this is hp this hp this hp yeah this hp moves above the xy line okay vertical planes remains vertical in this case the vertical plane is below the xy line okay right. so in quadrant 3 hp will be above xy vp will be below the xy yeah now let's do the fourth quadrant problem right see i am having a point over here the point a is 30 mm below the horizontal plane and then 40 mm in front of the vertical plane okay 40 mm in front of the vertical plane okay this is your horizontal plane this is your vertical plane see 30 mm below see 30 mm below horizontal plane okay that is going to be projected in where vp okay vp so it is projected as a dash it is projected as a dash and then 40 mm in front of the vertical plane 40 mm in front of the vertical plane is projected in hp as a small letter a right after we uh, after we projected the point now we have to get a 2d uh, how we have to rotate the hp 90 degree clockwise okay see now i am going to rotate rotating hp 90 degree clockwise 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 yeah yeah what is this once again we are getting a overlapping okay here the hp is overlapped with our vp okay uh, in quadrant 2 and then quadrant 4 conditions the projections will be overlapped with each other okay so uh, for engineering purpose if suppose the projections is overlapping like this means it is a very difficult one to identify the uh, details in the diagram okay so that in most of the countries uh, they are only using the quadrant 1 and then quadrant 3 that is first angle projection as well as third angle projection is only uh, used in most of the countries in india we are using first angle projection okay uh, in abroad like uh, uh, uk they are using third angle projection right uh, what is the difference between first angle and third angle above the xy in first angle we are having vp below the xy we are having hp that's it in third angle projection above the xy hp will be there below the xy vp will be there yeah uh, Please stay tuned. Uh, we will discuss some other problems in the animated version. Thank you. Uh, thanks for learning here. You can.